Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edward, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a harvest apple cider margarita. It's the perfect combination of your classic margarita and your fall flavors. And you know what? It's really easy with very minimal changes. Now you see a lot of ingredients here, but you don't need that much for the cocktail itself. So let's go through those ingredients. Now, for the garnish, you'll see an apple and a cinnamon stick, right? Nothing wrong with that. But we also have to rim the glass. And for that, we use a little bit of salt, sugar, and cinnamon. And I'll walk you through that in a moment. But the regular ingredients you need for this cocktail start with a little bit of lime juice. Use fresh limes where possible. However, if you can't get them, don't worry about it. Now you do need a tequila and you can adjust your cocktail a couple of different ways just by the type of tequila that you use. I've chosen Cazador's Reposado Tequila. It's 40% ABV and the Reposado or the aged flavor and nature of the tequila will give you a couple of fantastic extra notes. You also need after that an orange liqueur. I've chosen a dry style orange liqueur being Pierre Ferrand. It's 40% ABV. And the reason I did that is because I'm using a sweetened apple cider. Now this apple cider is unfiltered, it's sweetened, and it has a whole bunch of spices added to it, very much like you would find anywhere in North America. However, if you don't live in North America and all you have is hard apple cider, you can use that as well. In fact, it'll give you a slightly lighter flavor and you could go with a sweeter orange liqueur like a triple sec or a Cointreau. So let's start by rimming our glass. Grab yourself a plate and a little spoon. And what we'll do is we'll start with one spoonful of sugar, a spoonful of salt, a spoonful of ground cinnamon, and mix that together. Now that you've thoroughly mixed this, put this off to the side and grab yourself your lime. Now we're going to use the lime for two parts. A, we're gonna put half an ounce and 15 mils directly into the glass, but we're also going to cut this in half and then use it to rim half the glass and then dip the glass in the cinnamon sugar salt mixture. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Now the reason I rim half the glass is because whoever you're giving the glass to, may not want any of the cinnamon or salt or sugar to change the flavor of the cocktail. So I always give it sort of a half and half. Now, next you wanna grab your shaking glass. Take the lime that you have already cut in half, and as I said, we'll just squeeze that in. Now that you've done that, take your husk and put this off to the side, you're going to need it, and I'll explain why in a moment. So grab your tequila of choice. In this case, I said I'm using my Reposado. You could choose to use, say, a, uh, a silver tequila. Totally up to you. But we're going to start this with two ounces or 60 milliliters. The third ingredient you're gonna use is your orange liqueur. Now, I said I was using Pierre Ferrand, but you don't need a lot of this. You only need about half an ounce, and that works out to 15 mils. Now the fourth ingredient that you're going to use is an apple cider. And th at this part, this is where you can actually deviate on the recipe slightly. So if you don't have this type of apple cider, I said you could use a hard apple cider or an alcoholic apple cider. Now you will not shake an alcoholic apple cider because those are carbonated. And when you go to shake that, it's gonna blow your, uh, your shaker apart, which you definitely don't want. Right, so we'll use four ounces or 120 mils. We are going to shake this as our next step. And what we'll do is shake this for a good 10 seconds, maybe 15, depending upon how much dilution that you actually want for this cocktail. Uh, if you want a little bit less, shake it for a little bit less. But again, we're trying to chill our cocktail at the same time. So make sure this is down, get a good seal, give it a flick, and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand apples. And then just put this off to the side for now. So what you're going to do is grab your apple and we'll just cut this in half. Like so, we'll cut ourselves a nice little slice. And then we're going to use that leftover lime husk that I spoke of and you're going to rub it on the edge of your apple just to make sure that you can actually keep it from going yellow and brown. Going brown because, you know, it's already slightly yellow. It's just one of those things. However, next thing you need to do, grab your glass. And what we'll do is add a little bit of uh, fresh ice to the glass. You don't need a lot. And then we'll just fine strain this using your Hawthorne strainer 
and your fine strainer. Using your hot, oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, grab your cinnamon stick and your apple slice and just sort of slide them in like so. And here you have a harvest apple cider margarita. Give it a smell. Oh, it smells really good. Mmm, really, really good. You get that apple, you get that tequila, the little bit of salt just brightens it up and you get that cinnamon flavor. It is fall in a glass. If you like cocktails like this, I have a bourbon apple cider that you might like.